Hey all, Wild for Games coming at you from CES 2020, and we're gonna take a look at the Canon M200 to show you how it could be one of the best impact cameras to get you started on your streaming adventures, and we're getting started right now. So I'm here at the Canon booth where I get to have a lot of fun looking at brand new cameras, and one that caught my eye was the M200, which could be the best introductory camera for you. And luckily for me, I have an awesome representative from Canon that's gonna tell you everything that you need to know so you can be an all-star with the Canon M200. And we're starting with Drew, so Drew, go ahead and take it away. Hi, I'm Drew from Canon here at CES 2020. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the M200 and gaming and how we're utilizing it in the booth right now. So first, number one thing, flip up screen, always necessary for vlogging. So another great feature about the M200 for the gaming side is this HDMI port is a clean HDMI port. This allows you to put right onto your uh, OBS or your screen or whatever you want to do without any menus uh, that's going to distract your viewer, autofocus points or anything along that line. Um, next thing is the lens itself. We've got an interchangeable lens system on the M200. This is a mirrorless system. So it's nice and lightweight. You've got all the EOS M series lenses that goes from 11 millimeters all the way up to a 200 millimeter lens. You can blur out the background. You can adapt onto an EF lens if you want to run a 51.2. You've got a lot of options when it comes to the lens itself. Also, one last thing is the autofocus. If you're moving around during your gaming, the dual pixel CMOS AF in here will track your movement and follow you as you move around very accurately, very quietly, and very quickly. So let's talk about the usability of the EOS M200. One thing that we know is the menu system is extremely easy to use. Put it into an automatic mode if you really want to. Right out of the box, you're running videos, still images, or streaming, however you want to work. So another part of the usability is white balance and color. The colors coming out of the Canon camera, we have a lot of control over it through picture styles. You can white balance if you have to for your specific lighting scenario, like Rusty here. He's got his lighting set up. We are able to white balance specifically for the lighting in this uh, in this room. So a lot of functionality to customize the camera for your specific gaming needs. All right, I just wanted to tell you about this little camera right here. This is the M200. The reason I love it as a streamer is because you can't survive as a streamer if you want to keep growing just doing live streams. You've got to be on other platforms creating content. And one way to do that is by using this, the M200. You can put a quick release on your stream setup. You go ahead and stream with it live. It's got a constant power on the bottom which you can you know, just keep going. You don't have to worry about a battery. And then you take it right off your quick release. It's got an LCD facing you. You go rock around. You can record yourself. You can do everything you want away from your computer. You come back to your computer, pop it on your quick release, plug it in, you're streaming again, same camera. All right, so another thing that I, I, I want to beat on is that it, do I think this is worth the money? And I do, I definitely do. It comes with the lens in the kit, so you get the body and the lens, and so definitely worth the money with that, plus the, all the features like the interchangeable lenses, you can upgrade with all your other lenses, making this body better than a lot of other bodies, and of course, as a webcam or whatever. If you guys wanna know more about this camera and how I use it streaming, as well as in my photography, I do photo editing, I stream games like Overwatch, and I do that on twitch.tv slash Sidewinder Media. I stream weekdays, early morning, uh, different time zones, of course, uh, and then I do Thursday evenings and then a Saturday morning, and sometimes that's like an R IRL type stream or whatever. If you have any questions, yeah, just come on, ask some questions. Uh, I, I like to be interactive with my, my viewers and stuff. Thank you so much, Drew, for giving us all that information. I want to thank Ken and Andrew for taking time out of their hard day to give me a little time to educate you guys on this camera. Now, if you're interested in the M200, it comes in at $499. Now, the thing that can compare with it would be the Canon M50, which comes in at $599. Now, if you'd like a video on the compare and contrast between these two going head to head, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to make a video on that for you in the future. But if you wanna buy any one of these awesome cameras, I'm gonna do you a favor and put links in the description below that'll take you right to it for the best price. Fun question for everybody out there. What camera are you interested in streaming with to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook Gaming? Leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do to, again, make another video for you. And until next time, wild coming at you, super strong, and I will see all of you beautiful people later. Take care and of course, peace.